Happy Janet Jackson Appreciation Day, a.k.a. the Super Bowl, the Rihanna concert. Well, according to TMZ, apparently Janet Jackson was supposed to be honored at this year's Grammys, but talks fell through because of the whole situation and them not being able to make peace about her halftime show from years ago. Welcome back to the Empire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So, I almost forgot it's Janet Jackson Appreciation Day. Shout out to Rihanna. We're still going to celebrate and support Rihanna. Look, you know, look, I'm wearing my, my Rihanna shirt, Fenty. But for a very long time, since the whole situation with the Super Bowl and Janet Jackson's breasts being exposed during her halftime show because of Justin Timberlake and him not supporting her. Sorry, back. It's been Janet Jackson Appreciation Day. And during this, during the halftime show and during the Super Bowl, normally her music just shoots up the charts. So let's make sure we do that again today. I know we love Rihanna, but let's make sure Janet goes up there too. Well, apparently at the Grammys, they were supposed to honor Janet for the Global Impact Award, rightfully so. So let's get into what they're reporting on this because I have thoughts. So TMZ writes this, the Grammys wanted to honor Janet Jackson in a big way last weekend, but TMZ has learned those talks fizzled after discussions on how to address the way CBS treated Jackson after her infamous Super Bowl halftime performance. As you know, the Grammys were, were on CBS, and at the time, Les Moonves was the head of CBS, and there were multiple reports that he wanted to ruin Janet Jackson after her halftime performance. Hence why she was, like, blacklisted on so many different platforms, especially CBS. Sources connected to the Grammys tell TMZ the Grammys wanted to bestow Janet with the Global Impact Award, but there was a snag. Recording Academy Honchos wanted Janet to attend a pre-Grammy event with the Black Music Collective days before the main event to accept the award, but her schedule wouldn't allow it. From there, we're told discussions pivoted to a way Janet could receive the honor during the actual broadcast, as it should be. Period. Dot. But that presented another problem. CBS never made amends with Janet for making her persona non grata after the wardrobe malfunction. After all these years, you know Janet did that whole documentary on A&E and talked about that whole situation. And it was some shocking things that came out from that, especially when it comes to her perspective. TMZ reminds us, it says, it was Super Bowl, whatever that number is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, broadcast on CBS when uh, Justin Timberlake ripped Janet's top, revealing her breasts. The network received a ton of flack over the incident, and CBS CEO Les Moonves pulled Janet's invite to the Grammys that year. According to TMZ sources, they say Janet's team and Grammy organizers began talking about ways CBS could either apologize or figure out a way to acknowledge how she was treated by the network, but things just got too complicated and talks ended. Probably because CBS did not want to apologize. Don't be rude. Don't I'm sorry, what? Shit. Don't be rude. As they should. I think at this point they should, because honestly, I know there's a sector of people that believe that she did it on purpose, that she did it for relevancy. But let's rewind back time at the time that this happened. Janet didn't need relevancy. Even today, Janet didn't need relevancy. And Janet, unlike some of these celebrities, doesn't do things for clout, do things for relevancy, when she probably could. She could be collabing with certain people just to stay relevant. And Janet doesn't do that. She could be making certain types of music just to stay relevant. Janet doesn't do that. They continue. They say, since Janet couldn't attend the Black Music Collective event, she didn't get the Global Impact Award. She also did not attend the Grammys. Fact is, she hasn't been there in years. So TMZ says, we should note Lil Wayne ended up taking the Global Impact on her home and got a video shot out from Drake before accepting the award. Unclear if he and Janet both would have received awards or if Wayne received this in place of Jackson. 
I do find it interesting that Lil Wayne, who recently was arrested and facing conviction and recently was chucking and jiving with that man in order to receive a pardon, is being honored. But Janet accidentally, according to her and others, accidentally during a performance exposes her breast and has been punished for years and still being punished for years because CBS is refusing to just apologize and acknowledge Janet, we welcome you. We we honor you. But I understand why Janet was like, I'm not going to accept this award on this platform, this global platform, and the elephant in the room. <laughs> we're ignoring. Because I believe, and a lot of people believe, that CBS owes her an apology, especially when Les Moonves tried to ruin her career, allegedly. Try to ruin her career after this situation. Then come to find out that he was a huge problem for CBS, that they had to fire him and allegedly pay him out a lot of money. So we have never heard from him again. But his wife is still there hosting Big Brother. And that's when she, okay, let's rewind time. And remember during this whole situation when when all these accusations about him were coming out, Julie Chen leaned in. She went from Julie Chen to Julie Chen Moonbez to support her husband. Okay, Julie. And I'm saying, look, here's the thing. I w Julie should keep her job. But the fact that she was leaning in when all these accusations were coming out against her husband and say, oh, I'm going to add... Welcome back to Big Brother, and I'm your host, Julie Chen Moonvez. <laughs> okay, girl. But then she ends up leaving the talk because she didn't want to talk about her husband's transgressions. That's a whole other situation. But it is Janet Jackson Appreciation Day, and although we will be listening and loving Rihanna during the halftime show, another black woman, we will also, because we can do both, in a mix... Listen to some Janet Jackson music and get those songs and albums up to the top of the charts along with Rihanna today. Guys, what do you think that CBS should have done? Do you think that they should issue an apology and they should honor her next year at the Grammys? And I'm just, uh, the Grammys, you're such a disappointment. There's so many great things that you could have done with this award show. And there, are, there were some really great things that happened. But this would have been the cherry on top. <sighs> Guys, I want to know your reaction to this. What do you believe? Do you believe that Janet did this on purpose and that she should have been punished for decades at this point? And she's still being punished for it. Did you get your Janet Jackson tickets yet? I know a lot of you got the Beyonce tickets this weekend. I didn't. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't get my Janet Jackson tickets yet. But in honor of Janet Jackson Appreciation Day, I will be. Guys, what are you doing for Super Bowl Sunday? Let's have that conversation and let's talk about your favorite Jan Jackson song in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. You bring the lighter, I got the fuse. You make a fire, I'll ask you, follow my lead.